Why do people pray? What stirs within the human heart to reach out to the divine, to the unknown, to that which is greater than us? Is it a mere act of desperation, born out of need? Or is there a deeper, more profound reason behind it? Historically, human prayers have often been driven by various motives. Some pray out of greed, seeking material desires and worldly possessions. Others pray out of compulsion, adhering to the traditions and customs of their tribe or community. And then there are those who pray out of fear, hoping to evade the torment of hell and secure a heavenly afterlife. These prayers, largely centered around personal desires, are highly subjective. They revolve around the individual, their needs, their wants, their fears. But what about the prayers that go beyond the self? The prayers of gratitude, of acknowledgement, of recognition of the wider world and its many complexities. Consider the rich, who, in their prayers, acknowledge the poverty that exists outside their gilded walls. The peaceful, who, amidst the turmoil of the world, express gratitude for their serenity. The winners, who appreciate their victories and acknowledge the losses they've avoided. The healthy, who, in the face of widespread disease, give thanks for their wellness. These prayers hint at a greater responsibility, one that extends beyond the individual to the entire human race. Is it not possible that God, in His infinite wisdom and grace, wishes for universal happiness? A happiness that isn't confined to the material possessions we accumulate, or the circumstances of our lives, but extends to the very core of our being. This concept of universal happiness may seem absurd to some. After all, how can happiness be universal when our lives are so different, our experiences so varied? But here's the thing. God's justice doesn't imply uniformity. It doesn't mean we all have the same possessions, the same circumstances, the same experiences. That would be monotonous, even problematic. Instead, imagine a world where prayers aim for selflessness, prayers that shun desires that elevate one's social status, fostering conflicts and envy, prayers that seek simplicity, soul enrichment, enlightenment, patience, wisdom, humility, responsibility, and peace. These are the spiritual qualities that every saint aspired to, the gifts that God readily grants. So, to answer that initial question, why do people pray? Perhaps it's not just about personal desires or fears. Perhaps it's about fostering a more harmonious world, a world where happiness is universal, where spiritual growth is nurtured, where prayers are more than just words whispered into the wind. We should rather ask for a simple life, we should look for enlightenment and enrichment of our souls. We should demand patience and wisdom, humility and humbleness, responsibility and discipline, peace and tranquility. These are the spiritual qualities which the God readily disposes if asked for. These are the prayers that perhaps every saint asked for.